I finally decided on who our last team member's gonna be. It's going back and forth between some choices, and my main thoughts were that I should have a special attacker to balance out how many physical attackers I had. Not quite as many as I thought, especially because talents was kind of like their own bees. I'm not sure if they're really more physical or special oriented. And Ellie, I guess, would be more physical, but I classify Ellie more as a tank rather than an actual physical attacker. Still, this felt... This fit the need of my special attacking lackage quite nicely, as well gave me type coverage that I kind of thought I need. And the fact that it was actually a Pokemon that I was originally using in my initial Pokemon XD playthrough, like literally the first Let's Play I ever done on the channel, before I ultimately decided that I would stick with how stick with my Diana. It's a fun little callback in its own twisted way. So we got the flash fire, which I'm not sure if we can get too much use of in double battles quite yet, but will eventually. And I was bouncing around between ideas for his move set. Ultimately decided on Heat Wave for Will if you know maybe Heat Wave and Will Lift is redundant, but only level 40, there's still time to work out the kinks. And I believe I picked both Crunch and Snarl because this is double, but this is physical. So, Flameshot's kind of slightly more of a mix attacker, or has, even with the special orientation, has a little bit of physical mix. I think I even went with Crunch, not because it was a physical move. But it's the strongest dark type move that we had access to at the moment. Now I think about it. Yeah. And what it's Jackie K, and welcome for another edition of Pokemon XG Next Gen. Honestly, the last area was so well that I think I'm gonna continue this streak into Area Five. After all, still a long ways off from my goal of getting everyone up to level 50 before I make story progress. So why not? <laughs> I guess grounding, I guess ground is the theme this time around. So I'm gonna have to look back in the videos just to make sure I haven't done these already. I'm pretty sure I double checked. But I have a little doubt for whatever reason. Let's see. Not exactly good for Houndoom, but since you still have the experience here, I'm willing to keep you out and just see how things go. Um, I don't think Snarl will do any good because you're both physical attackers. It does feel like my best option at this point, though. Hmm. Which one do you two feel more likely to go for the rock move? Wait. What the heck did I choose? Because it definitely wasn't Crunch. Well, pfft. Maybe I'll get the burn off on the Dawn fan? Or maybe it'll just be flat out neutral damage? I guess that works. Oof. Thanks, friend! <laughs> see. Oh, shoot, if I wasn't so low health, I would just go for the crunch and the brave bird, but I kind of want to make use out of that boost that we got. Um, but I don't know, I... Taylor Swift, I think, unfortunately, you're gonna have to be a sacrificial lamb, because I think even if I heal back up with Roost, with how much damage that did, it wouldn't be enough to survive the next heat wave. So, screw it. We're going for it. Just note that you'll have plenty more opportunities to keep leveling up in future battles. We're all in this together. More so, Flame Shop is going to get closer and closer to no longer needing the experience share. Especially because she's technically at that point already. I just want to see how far I can ride 
that free of fire boost. Alright, all ground. I'm gonna take care of the camera up already, so... Maybe this is a good opportunity for fun when they get in here and have a little, f you know, fun. Alright, go loom. I would say that I'm not worried, but then I remember Sturdy exist. And Gligar, which unfortunately I don't think I have a great option for. Oh, but I think I know what I want to do. It's gonna attack both of them anyway, so it doesn't really matter if you have Sturdy or not. Oof! Oof! <laughs> that was resisted! Good day, good sir! Get owned! <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I just aged myself by saying that. <laughs> Alright, battle done. I wasn't paying attention to the levels, but if we keep going through them at this rate, then doing two areas in one day will definitely be nothing to worry about. Just hop on in. Haven't really had a reason to worry about lead order quite yet. Though maybe I could pay a little more attention to the level just to see if we're still over leveled. So Swampert. Not gonna lie, wish I had Funland out here first, but we'll make do, especially because I don't think I could swap Houndu out of here until I get rid of you. Wow, you have a you have a Doug Trio without Arena Trap? What are you doing, my friend? What are you doing? Not, got, not that it really matters, but it does make things quite a bit more convenient for me. All right, now, as long as I don't get owned by the Swampert, which I'm pretty confident I won't. Well, you know, it wasn't going for a water move on the obvious fire type. But hey, that works for me too. I'm kind of wondering why I should go for Tailwind and I could just Brave Bird. We can knock them both out and I can just worry about healing next turn. Looking forward to how this idea will bite me in the butt. But I had full fate and talents with and knocking out the pillow swine. And unless you have an life orb, you ain't surviving anything that's grass focused, my friend. It does feel like I'm pushing Tailless with a little too far, but. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Alright. At... Okay, it's level 40. So, we're still pretty good. And I actually kind of wonder if this training is even going to be enough. Alright, right on. Very little reason to worry about you. I kind of want to heal just because, but this is a smarter play, especially because if it does have Sturdy, going for this eliminates that issue. I had a burp, but with this setup, I had to literally mute the mic in order to have it from popping up, because I don't have the luxury of post-commentary audio file editing in this particular setup. All good though. I mean, if we keep clearing through the battles at this rate, this is the most Pokemon X3 that I've played in a while, and I feel pretty good about myself for the state that I'm in. That being said, you've definitely earned the right to have something else, though I don't think I brought all my items with me. Um, let's go with leftovers for now, and if I find that it's not that helpful. Maybe I'll swap on over to Rocky Helmet or Life Orb later on. Meanwhile, we we have a whole... We have so many ground types to go through, and Swimmer's Bee has not had a chance to have any fun, aka get some level up action. Alright, let's see what you got, Carlos. Marowak and Quagsire. Kinda wish I had Funland out here, but... If I need her, 
Should I have a chance to get out of here soon enough. My big question though is can I take out Quagsire at full health with a life boost life or boosted Brave Bird? It worked really well in my favor if I could. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for Tailwind. Cause these Pokemon aren't too fast now, but there might be some faster ground types hanging in the back. It'll also get Oof. But did I even need it? I was kinda hoping you go for Talon Swift, because I was looking for a good excuse to swap it out anyways. Um, let's try again. I would swap away the yawn, but You know, there's only we're only going going up against four Pokemon. I have a grass type in the back, so they can handle the rest of this if so be. Yeah. Might have been pushing myself a little too much. Thinking I could take out freaking Quagsire from full health. Even if it's a little under leveled. Hmm. All this lava is kind of like a polar opposite of how things are around here at the moment. Cool. Oh, you know what? This is a Gen 3 game. Or more specifically, a Shadow Pokemon game. It's been so long since I actually had to use this. I almost forgot that it was an option. Uh, so first, I guess you can come in, Ellie. You at least would resist the Sandstorm. But we can just call Swimmer Spee out to sleep. And be along our merry way. Yeah, it doesn't really... Looking outside, it doesn't really affect it now, because it all melts away already, but... It was snowing a few days ago, and even earlier today there was a bit of snow as well, but it just wasn't enough to stick in the, the ground, just enough to, like, be in that weird zone between rain and snow. I mean, I think it was actually snow, but... It was close enough to rain that <laughs> you can mistake it for otherwise. This should be enough to take care of you. And... I think, I think I'm gonna build my confidence and... One-shot you with a good old liquidation. I was gonna say, don't even remember what my item is, but I remember that it's an expert belt. Me? I'm tempted to go back out to the life orb. But... This is working pretty good as well. If nothing else, it saves us the animation of watching the recoil damage. Alright. Onwards and onwards. I just had to clear my throat for a little sec. Hmm. Yeah, you're still level 46, so you know what? Funlin can stay in the back. Raw power will shatter any Pokemon. Probably the most fitting <laughs> vanilla text for a modded Pokemon team that I could think of. You had one job! Ground types are so full of fast, strong Pokemon, and yet you bring a clay elf to this fight. It's a dumb thing to rag on, so I do it more for comedy's sake rather than actual critique. But this mod has changed text to the most random things. In fact, I haven't been paying too close attention, but you probably noticed it in this very stream, in this very video. Because one of the things they did was change all of the names of the Ore natives into quote unquote real names. Someone actually took the complaints of Ore's <laughs> trainer names to heart. And change them all accordingly. Which, I've been over this before, but since it's a live stream, there might be new people. So I'll say it again. There's so, there's so much charm to the silly names that they had. 
in this game. In fact, I could even make an argument for why the names are so weird and foreign. To the fact that sense that they don't even seem like real names. The Array region is based in Arizona, and this is during the third generation where every single other Pokemon game was based in some I don't know of was based in an area in Japan. I'm blanking out on what they call sub areas of a country over in the age of specific area. Area. Region's the only thing that comes to mind. But um I could stand to uh, have a little more cultural knowledge in the forefront, but <laughs> I'm just playing a game and babbling about whatever's on my mind while I do it, so that's the best I can come up with on the spot. Wait, did I even take out the other Pokemon? No, that Wish Cast is still standing, which could be a problem. Talon Swift kind of needs this. Well, I guess if you're not even going to attack Talon Swift, then it's not really an issue. So, I guess we're gonna find out if the Tailwind was useful for anything. Oh, when did you put up that Sandstorm? I guess it doesn't matter because you're the, literally the last Pokemon. But still. One more battle and we're gonna be moving on to a new type. Time flies when you're having fun. Then, I'm only can tell that we're over 20 minutes into this area because I was looking at this little stream timer I have. Would have never guessed that otherwise. Alright. Though, so, since we're all level 46, maybe I should take advantage of the fact that it's pretty much like a boss gauntlet. Hmm. So maybe I could also, well, I was going to say get some experience on the Ellie with a Discharge ground type combo, but we're literally going up against exclusively ground types. It would be more efficient if I let up with Ellie and had Talon Swift, but we don't have Earthquake yet, so I don't see an option. God, we got to be close to Earthquake. It's probably in this, the final area. I will scout through any optional areas they haven't taken on yet, just to be sure, but man, I really want to have Earthquake right about now. High horsepower is, pr is pretty good in its own right, and if we had more than four moves, I'd probably carry on both because of just, if I don't have Talents Whip out here, Earthquake could kind of be devastating. Protect's a reusable TM, so Teaching Protect onto some things is also an option, but... Oh, cool. You're part Psychic. You know something I haven't really taken... Also, why do we have some... Right, um... Ground Poison, you're still weak to water. Sinking is out. Put you to sleep, because I don't feel confident I would take you out with one Grass Bomb. And then we'll use liquidation on you. Because Middle Queen could be a problem for Zumeral. But Claydol also could be a problem for Bunlin. How do you manage to have a counter to both my anti ground types in your lead? Oh. Was not planning on it actually surviving that. In any shape or form. Still leaves me in a little bit of a sticky situation because... I was gonna... For a second there, I thought the sandstorm was gonna knock me out before I could even start poison healing. But poison heal kind of just leads to its own problem. Might be able to find a more fine-tuned opportunity. Wow, you're a fast little Dom fan. 
be real nice if oh and <laughs> you you're just gonna wake up turn one from your sleep I guess that's an option too wouldn't it be swell if I brought Tangle Swift out here just to become faint fodder thankfully that's not the case but I was gonna say I really hope I take out the Don fan because I don't want to have to choose between going for a priority attack and getting off my tailwind. God. Not again. Actually, I think I'm so low on health that the sandstorm would actually take me out before I got to heal with poison heal. So, let's get this tailwind before I... Before I can't. That should give me enough speed boost to outspeed some things. And... I think I, this would be a perfect time to have Zuroll outspeed. <laughs> but we don't all get that luxury now, do we? Maybe I'll at least outspeed the Claydol now. <laughs> no, unless it's just the speed calc is going to be applied next turn. Because I really hope that sending Talents Whip out here wasn't in vain. Did take a few hits. Um, I might be able to take it out with a seed bomb. Even I did put it to sleep specifically because I didn't have confidence in that. But hmm. Oh, what am I doing? I have a dark type. <laughs> sure, it's kind of weak, vulnerable to ground and all, but. Fantastic bite tongue. Tongue biting opportunities with Jackie King. <laughs> oh, brother. And I don't got anything crazy to do the Swamp Bird. I mean, this is neutral, but it'll still hit pretty hard because huge power. Probably hard. Probably hard. I mean, I do have Ice Punch. I'm not sure if that would be enough to really devastate the Claydol, and I am going for super effective damage against. It also, if I, if I was actually worrying about the Claydol, I would just use Liquidation. Well, I got so into 4D chess that I rotated all the way back to 1D. Almost takes out the Swamp Bird. Not feeling too good about the fate of our Helm Doom, but at least you got a little experience out of this exchange. You did something. <laughs> I was gonna say, you did something great, and that's good enough for itself. Everyone's getting a chance to be a team player here. And that's the sign of a true teamship. Oh, but speaking of things that are great for Helm Doom. Don't mind if I do! I was tempted to go for the superpower on the Steelix just to rub salt into the wound, but on the off chance that accuracy is not my friend, let's just, let's just play it cool. Or you could just barely survive. Well, that's fine. Liquidation's just gonna target the Swamp Bird instead. It's not the way I envisioned it, but it is the same result at the end of the day. Either way ends with both the Pokemon fainting before they can even attack us. And that's all that really matters at the end of the day. So, good old experience. <laughs> Who's first former me? Wasn't expecting you to get this high in level for one battle, but actually you're probably 46 before starting this, so it's not that crazy. You were too cr <laughs> tricky, if you say so. All right. Unless the end of this type, new type, new leads. 